good morning dear students welcome to new session of your science class in previous session we learned chemical properties of metals in today's session we will learn some more chemical properties of metals then chemical properties of non metals and the uses of metals and non metals so i am starting with the chemical properties of metals the first property is reaction with bases metals also react with bases to form salts and hydrogen gas yes in the last lecture we studied metals reacts with acid to form salt and hydrogen gas yes and also they reacts with bases to form salts and hydrogen gas when aluminium metal is heated with sodium hydroxide which is basic in nature it gives sodium aluminate and hydrogen gas yes when sodium hydroxide which is basic in nature reacts with aluminium metal it gives sodium aluminate which is salt and the hydrogen gas yes now we study one important reaction for metals yes a displacement reaction what do you mean by the displacement reaction a chemical reaction in which a more reactive element displaces a less reactive element from its compound both metals and non metals take part in displacement reaction so as you see in the reaction metal a displaces metal b from its solution okay now we will study one example of displacement reaction yes iron displaces copper from copper sulfate solution yes when iron nail is placed under the copper sulfate solution yes iron is highly reactive than copper so it displaces copper from its solution and uh, after some time the color of copper sulfate solution fades out and the reddish brown reddish brown coating of copper is coated on the iron nail yes now a less reactive metal cannot displace a more reactive metal from its solution remember the last reaction we studied copper sulfate plus iron yes if we take the reverse reaction yes when the iron sulfate solution reacts with copper there will no reaction take place because copper is less reactive than iron yes here it is also when copper metal reacts with zinc sulfate then no reaction take place because copper is less reactive than zinc yes again when copper metal reacts with aluminum sulfate it then also the no reaction take place because copper is less reactive than aluminum now we will study about reactivity series of metal the arranging of metals in the decreasing order of their reactivity is called reactivity series of metals yes when we go through this series the potassium at top place it means it is highly reactive metal and the gold is at bottom place it means it is less reactive metal yes so potassium can displace this all metals from their solution and gold cannot displace any of this metal from their solution now we will study some chemical properties of non metals the first one is reaction with oxygen non metals react with oxygen to form non metal oxides these oxides are acidic in nature because they turns blue litmus paper into red yes when non metal reacts with oxygen it forms non metal oxide the example is when sulfur reacts with oxygen and sulfur dioxide is formed sulfur dioxide dissolve in water to form sulfurous acid which turns blue litmus paper into red because it is acidic in nature yes so here it is the reaction when sulfur reacts with oxygen it forms sulfur dioxide yes and then sulfur dioxide dissolves in water to form sulfurous acid 
the second reaction is reaction with water when non uh, yes non metals do not react with water in fact some of the reactive non metals are kept under water to protect them from the action of air example is when the phosphorus is very reactive non metal and it is kept in a bottle containing water to avoid its reaction with air yes when phosphorus is kept open in the air it reacts with oxygen of the air and catches fire now the reaction of non metals with acid and bases non metals do not react with dilute acid uh, example if we take some sulfur powder or charcoal powder charcoal powder means carbon powder in a test tube and add dilute hydrochloric acid then no reaction takes place even on heating some of the non metals however react with hot and concentrated sulfuric acid because it is a very high concentrated sulfuric acid and nitric acid but no hydrogen gas is produced in such cases reaction of non metals with bases are complex and we will study this reaction in higher studies now we will study some uses of metals yes iron is used for making pins nails nuts bolts tools machines and it is also used in construction of building and bridge aluminum is used for making utensils wires furniture parts of aircrafts vehicles machines and for packing food and medicine yes so why aluminum is used for manufacturing of parts of aircrafts because it is light in weight yes copper is used for making wires because it is a good conductor of electricity and it is also used to make vessels and electrical gadgets gold is used for making jewelry coins and medals silver is also used for making jewelry and coins platinum is used for making jewelry electrical gadgets and plugs in vehicles sodium compounds like sodium chloride yes nacl used as common salt and the sodium bicarbonate it is nahco3 which is used as baking soda calcium compounds are used for making cement like calcium oxide and calcium carbonate and it is also used in manufacturing of glass now we will study some uses of non metals the first non metal the sulfur is used for making sulfuric acid yes the sulfuric acid is very important for any country when the production of sulfuric acid is high the country's gdp is also high yes it is also used for salts of metals oxygen is used for respiration by living things and oxygen is also used for burning of fuels nitrogen is used for making ammonia which is used for making fertilizers hydrogen is also used for making ammonia which is used for making fertilizer as fuel in rockets or it is also used for welding chlorine is used to kill germs in water and the last one iodine is used as tincture iodine which is is an antiseptic so we have completed chapter number 4 metals and non metals i hope you all must have understood thank you goodbye